We just watched Aloha, and on this show I take my friends, we go see a movie, we review it in the car, and then we have a discussion. The review video is spoiler free, so if you're on the fence or looking for a recommendation, you can watch this video and find out what we thought without getting spoiled. And if you have already seen the movie or want to hear our discussion with spoilers, you can watch the uh, video that's called Aloha Movie Discussion with Spoilers. Um, Aloha is a Cameron Crowe movie. It stars... Uh, uh, Bradley Cooper. Bradley Cooper, yes, thank you. And Rachel McAdams and Emma Stone, um, Bill Murray, a couple of other people. And man, if you've seen the trailer, you've seen most of the movie, unfortunately. Um, you've seen most of the good parts, anyway. The movie's gotten a really bad reputation. Um, it has, I think, like an eight out of 100 on Rotten Tomatoes right now. And I can see the problems. Um, it's a movie that you just, you keep wanting to like it, and it just doesn't give you anything to like for a really long time. And then the last 15 minutes are kind of the movie you expect it to be. It kind of turns into Jerry Maguire at the end. Um, but apart from that, it's, it's not... That there's, it's not bad acting, it's not bad performances, it's bad directing and bad writing. Um, scenes take way longer than they should. Uh, we linger on a face or a photo or something, and music plays for a while. It just turns into a slideshow a couple of times. Uh, I can't recommend seeing this theatrically. Um, I mean, nobody comes across, like, you don't go out, come out of this movie going, well, that wasn't so great, but at least Bradley Cooper was fun, you know, or at least Bill Murray was fun. Like, this movie makes Bill Murray no fun. He's, like, a bummer in this movie. I love it, yeah. So, that's that's what I think. I, I don't recommend it at all. What did you think? I, I liked it a little bit better, but I agree with most of what you're saying. Yeah. I uh, it, it, There's moments of the film, scenes, that I thought were really good, but they're stitched together with so much just pop music references and inserts, and it does feel like a slideshow, and it, it feels like a, just one music montage to another, and if you were to take that away, it's like... You, you, there's nothing there, it's just aesthetics. There's like a 40 minute plot in this movie. Yeah, yeah, it's very thin if you take away the aesthetics, but the aesthetics are really cool. I mean, there's, you know, uh, there's the acting's really good. There's obviously a nice backdrop with Hawaii. There's a lot of good scenery going on. Um, but if you take away the, the kind of sound and music part of it, story-wise, it's very thin, mm -hmm. very, very thin. Um, I still enjoyed it, but I enjoyed it because of uh, a few scenes that I just felt were nicely done. Um, as yeah. I, you know, I wouldn't, it's not necessary to see this one in a movie theater. You know, if it's on Netflix, then it's definitely worth catching. Yeah. I'd put it on your watch list. Um, it's not a bad film, I don't think, by any means. It's just not like, I could see where it could have been great, and it, it wasn't. Yeah, it has its moments, and mm -hmm. I think watching it with the caveat of, you know, don't expect this to be a great film. Um, don't expect this to be the next Jerry Maguire or something like that. Mm -hmm. Like, Jerry Maguire... Even it kind of borrows heavily from that, Well, it? and Jerry Maguire has its faults, but there's always something happening. Yeah. It it moves at a pace. And yeah. It, 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 yeah, it has music montages and stuff like that, but... All of the characters are interesting. They're given full... Yeah, they're not really fully fleshed out here except for the main guy. And or, even he's sort of a mystery to the, to the audience for a lot of it. Yeah. Like, I I didn't really understand who he was until yeah. toward the end. Yeah, there's a couple of reveals later. Um, yeah, with his motives and stuff. So, yeah, it's kind of a tough one. It, yeah. And it, yeah. I, yeah, I would... I would wait if you see it at all. And um, if you've seen the trailer, definitely don't watch it right away. Wait for the trailer to fade in your memory a little bit before you see it because 
Yeah, it does kill a lot of it. It kills a lot. Yeah. It kills a lot. I mean, I think most of the fun moments are in the trailer, so. Yeah, pretty much. Anyway, that's our review. If you like the way we do these, please like the video, subscribe, share it with your friends, and check out all the written and video reviews at dalemaxfield.com. Thanks for watching.